Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got uh, an equilateral uh, triangle uh, ABC whose uh, two vertices uh, B and uh, C are on the circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, chord uh, BD is uh, 13 units long. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. We must uh, find the radius of this uh, given uh, circle before we could calculate uh, its area. And now let's focus on this uh, equilateral triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the crucial fact uh, angles uh, of an equilateral triangle are uh, 60 degrees each. So therefore, uh, all uh, these uh, three angles uh, of this uh, equilateral uh, triangle uh, are going to be 60 degrees each. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center O with these uh, vertices uh, B and uh, D, as you can see in this uh, next uh, diagram. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OB is the radius. Let me call this uh, radius uh, lowercase r. Likewise, this uh, OD is radius uh, as well. So I'm going to call this one lowercase r uh, as well. So therefore, this uh, OBD triangle uh, is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, OB is congruent to this side uh, length uh, OD. And now let's recall the central angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle uh, at the circumference. As you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram, this uh, angle uh, is going to be angle at the circumference, whereas uh, this uh, angle is going to be the angle uh, at the center, since uh, this is our center of the circle. Then according to this uh, central angle uh, theorem, if this angle is uh, x, then uh, this angle at the center is going to be twice of that one. That is going to be 2 times x. And here's an example. If this angle is uh, 25 degrees uh, at the circumference, uh, then the angle at the center is going to be twice of that one is going to be 50 degrees. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, given problem. Our uh, angle at the circumference is uh, 60 degrees. Then uh, this angle at the center is going to be twice of that one. So that is going to be 120 degrees. So thus we conclude that this uh, angle uh, DOB turns out to be 120 degrees. And here in this uh, next step, I have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, OE on this uh, line uh, BD. And now let's recall a crucial uh, fact. If OBD is an isosceles uh, triangle and this uh, OE is the perpendicular, then this uh, segment uh, BE is going to be equal to this segment uh, ED. In other words, uh, this uh, point E is uh, at the middle. So therefore, in our case, uh, in this uh, triangle, uh, this uh, DE length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, EB length. In other words, uh, this uh, EB segment is going to be half of 13 and likewise uh, ED segment is going to be half of 13 as well. So therefore, our EB length turns out to be 13 divided by 2 units and likewise uh, ED length is uh, 13 divided by 2 units as well. And now let's make one more uh, observation. We can see that this uh, perpendicular uh, OE is the angle uh, bisector of this whole uh, angle uh, DOB. And we know that this uh, whole uh, angle is uh, 120 degrees. So therefore, uh, half of this 120 degrees, uh, this angle is going to be 60 degrees. And likewise, this angle is going to be 60 degrees as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, BED. We know this angle is 60 degrees. This angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 30 degrees. Since the sum of three angles 
in a triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore we conclude that this uh, BED triangle is our 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle. And here I have copied down that uh, triangle uh, OEB where this angle uh, B is uh, 30 degrees, this angle O is uh, 60 degrees and this angle uh, E is uh, 90 degrees. And since uh, 30 degrees is our smallest angle, so the side opposite to that one is going to be our uh, smallest uh, leg. And likewise, uh, this 90 degrees is our largest angle, so this side opposite to that one is going to be our longest uh, leg. And in such kind of 30, 60, 90 special triangle, uh, the longest leg is always uh, twice the smallest uh, leg. In other words, uh, if the smallest leg is uh, one unit, uh, then this uh, longest leg uh, is going to be two units. And this uh, third leg is going to be always uh, square root of uh, three. And now let's make an observation. In our case, uh, this EB length is uh, 13 uh, divided by two. And now our task is somehow manipulate this side so that this side length becomes 13 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to divide all these sides by square root of 3. I'm going to divide this one by square root of 3 and this one by square root of 3 all across the board. And now we can see square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is going to give us 1. So therefore our this uh, BE length uh, turns out to be one uh, unit. And now I'm going to multiply all these uh, sides by 13 divided by 2. I'm going to multiply this one 13 divided by 2 over here and likewise uh, 13 divided by 2 over here as well. And now we can see over here 1 times 13 divided by 2 is going to be simply 13 divided by 2. And now let's simplify these ones here 2 and 2 cancel each other out so we ended up with the 13 divided by square root of 3. And finally if we multiply these numbers that is going to give us 13 divided by 2 times square root of 3. So therefore let's make an observation we can see that OB length turns out to be 13 divided by square root of 3. So therefore over here this side length OB turns out to be 13 divided by square root of 3 and that is as a matter of fact uh, is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. So therefore we conclude that our this uh, radius uh, turns out to be 13 divided by square root of 3 units as you can see over here. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, circle whose uh, radius is uh, 13 divided by square root of 3. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square, where r is the radius of the circle. So therefore the area of uh, this uh, circle is going to become simply pi times 13 divided by square root of 3 whole uh, square. And if we simplify the right hand side, area turns out to be equal to 169 pi divided by 3 square units. So thus the area of this uh, circle turns out to be 169 pi divided by 3 square units. And that could also be written as uh, 176.98 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.